Good morning, folks. We've got filaments erupting, solar flares returning, new sunspots, news on the solar impact to the aviation industry, ice on Mars, volcanoes on Venus, and an interesting bit of mental gymnastics on Earth's magnetic field. We start with our star, where we will see the southern plasma filaments release, the central coronal hole turning through, a bigger coronal hole incoming on the south. You can also see the brightness of the incoming active regions on the left side. The solar wind is calming along with geomagnetic conditions after those impulsive geomagnetic storms resulting from the solar wind enhancements over the previous day. Better look at those erupting filaments here as well. Our focus in the coming days will be on the remaining filaments, the incoming coronal hole, and the incoming active regions. The sunspot heading into view on the south is particularly large as several new spots are expected to be visible in the coming days. Interesting study here on altitude errors for aircraft during solar storms. This one studied large proton events and found a hundreds of feet discrepancy in altitude readings on aircraft. This does have the potential to be a bad situation during the largest of the solar storms, especially as Earth's magnetic field continues weakening in the coming years. Folks, 40 years ago, they were asking if there could possibly ever have been water on Mars. Now they're sure there was, there still is, and now they're saying glacial ice may actually remain today down to low latitude positions, with implications for resources on the red planet and also for historical context of planetary change. Volcanoes on Venus, now officially a thing. It was known that there were ancient eruptions, but a review of the Magellan data indicate ongoing volcanic eruptions at Earth's sister planet. But our top story today is a paper that attempts to go back and recreate the original studies and conclusions on Earth's magnetic field. It shared several items, including the ongoing decrease of Earth's magnetic field as the poles are shifting, the relationship between the magnetic field and polar motion, and the relationship between the changes in magnetic field and the length of a day the rotational glitches of Earth's spin. Always nice to see these items continually tied together in modern papers, geomagnetism, and geodynamics. We greatly appreciate your support. All of your observer resources are listed below in the description box. Publications, playlists, websites, and more. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.